Hello everyone, today we will introduce the process of pavement damage detection based on image data. Click the Detect Damage button to open the dialog box. Select the point cloud files to be involved in the detection. If point cloud classification has already been performed, select Ground Point under Initial Categories, if not, choose Select All. For more accurate detection results, it is recommended to perform point cloud classification first. The software supports detection using either point cloud or image data sources. Choose based on the type of data collected. Only one method can be selected for detection. Here, select based on image, meaning the detection is performed using deep learning on images, and the results are mapped back to 3D space. Both panoramic and planar cameras are supported. When the method is based on image, there are two types, built-in model and custom model. The built-in model refers to using the software's built-in deep learning detection model to detect images. Users can set the type of photos and the photos to be processed under camera options. The custom model is based on the image deep learning submodule in the raster page. After training a model with manually annotated damage samples and completing the image inference step, the resulting inference detection results JSON files, will be generated. Choose the folder containing the JSON files, each JSON file name must match the corresponding image name. This function reads the existing results and projects them back to 3D space. After merging and fusion, the final result is obtained. There will be a dedicated video introducing the custom model, while this video mainly demonstrates the built-in model. Minimum area refers to the area threshold, where damage region smaller than this value will be filtered out. Click default value to restore all parameter values to their defaults. After completing the settings, click detect to perform the damage detection. Upon completion, there will be two types of results, vector polygons and point cloud additional attributes. Vector polygons refer to the vector results stored in the damage region layer in polygon form, recording information about each damage, including damage type, severity, area, length, width, and height. Point cloud additional attributes refer to the depth values of each damaged point in the point cloud written into the additional attribute damage distance. In the View Mode window, you can select Intensity from the color dropdown and check Fusion with Pavement Damage for the displayed effect. Additionally, using the Pick Point function allows you to obtain the Damage Distance additional attribute value for each point and view the specific depth. That concludes the introduction to pavement damage detection based on image data. Thank you for watching.